I did it, I'm vaccinated. It is my last full day in Cambridge. Institute of Astronomy, let's go. Morning everyone. I am heading out this morning because I'm having my first dose of the COVID vaccine. I've booked it at Cherry Hinton Leisure Centre, which is apparently, according to Google Maps, a 15 minute cycle from here. I've got 50 minutes until my appointment. So hopefully if I'm leaving now, then it allows time for me to get lost and then actually find the leisure centre. Last night I went over to my friend's house and we had strawberries in melted chocolate and Oreo milkshakes with Baileys in. So good, let me tell you. I've been given directions to this letter centre by my friend who lives locally, but I think I am just gonna be like cycling along and getting off to check Google Maps every 10 seconds, but we'll see. It's an adventure, you know? Yeah, vaccines. <laughs> vaccinated yay <laughs> i told the nurse who was vaccinating me that i wasn't too happy about needles like i don't have a problem with them i don't like them and they immediately just started trying to distract me when they were doing it and i was like no this never works i always know these nurses try and distract me and try and make quiet conversation and all i can think about is them stabbing a needle in my arm all in all though it was worth it i've weighed up the pros and the cons and i can put up with a little bit of a needle to be vaccinated against covid19 all those other young people living in the uk not being offered the vaccine, snap it up. I just want this pandemic to be over. I really do. So please get vaccinated, everyone. On Tuesday evening, my friends cooked dinner and we all ate together. On Wednesday, I met up with another friend after work and we went to watch some of the rowing races. Didn't get the rowing boats on camera, but here's the river. Finally, Thursday rolled around and I escaped work on this day. Hello everyone, so I am outside Fitzbillies because we are going for brunch today because it is Emma's birthday. I've got my sunglasses on because they're prescription and I can't see without them. I don't think anyone else is here yet because I've walked direct here and they're walking from their house. Hi vlog, for the first time today I am walking to Grantchester. I think everyone I'm with has walked there before, it's my first time. It is a walk along the river cam and there's supposed to be a tea room at the end which sounds quite nice although brunch was really good at Fitzbillies had pancakes with maple syrup and bacon nice peaceful day cloudy but warm there are a lot of animals around here lots of birds tweeting cows around I have made it to Grantchester, the widely spoken about location of the orchard tea room. Wow. Nice walk actually, nice walk. I want to take my dog here. The Jesus horse has escaped from Jesus College. Someone take him back. Push page in the river. No, that doesn't sound like a fun game. We have found some scooters and we're about to ride them. Everyone has been scooting around Cambridge. It's the new big thing and we've got to try it out. We have come out to Giggling Squid to celebrate Emma's birthday this evening. It's a chain restaurant that I've only been to once before, so quite looking forward to it. Oh, 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 thank you guys so much. 
I actually can't believe you picked these. I mean, this is literally something I wanted. I thought you'd actually seen my account. Hello, so just a little debrief, I guess, of the day. It's been a good day. I have just got back into my accommodation, about to head to bed because I've got work tomorrow. Obviously, I've been off today, which has been really nice. We've been out for dinner at Giggling Squid, which served Thai food, and it was so good. It went for quite a spicy curry, and honestly, it was right at the edge of my spice tolerance, but I managed it. It was really good. This evening, we were out in the garden and we had sparklers which we ordered for the Mabel that we did the other weekend and we had some sparklers left over so we went in the garden and played with lawn exposure mode on my camera and took some really cool pictures of the sparklers drawing things it was actually very entertaining morning it is the morning unfortunately because i just want to keep sleeping it's only a friday and fridays are okay I've just remembered, and I'm pleased I did remember this, that I have a meeting with my line manager this morning at 9am. So there really is a reason to get out of bed pronto. To be fair, I was going to start earlier than 9 anyway, but sometimes I start earlier, then go off to shower, then come back. And I can't do that if I've got a meeting at 9am. This morning when I speak to my line manager, I just need to speak to her about our mid-year reviews that we're having. I need to ask some colleagues basically to give feedback on my work. So I'm trying to think, hmm, who's going to give nice feedback about me and say nice things? My feedback was really nice last review. Like it made me feel good and it gave me a confidence boost. And I'm hoping that this time people aren't going to be like, oh no, Paige has been doing really badly. It's also the team call this morning that I should probably show my face on because I haven't shown my face on one of those for a while. Because obviously I've been busy with work and being in Cambridge. I'm going to go shower and get going for the day and try finish work not too late whoa what's that for so you get a better really, angle it. it's a better angle i have made it to yeah. king's <laughs> college we're going out for dinner shortly so or ordering dinner not sure which one had a bit of a traumatic day today found a maggot on the floor yeah, didn't yeah, eat much like... food for lunch because i was scared there was maggots everywhere long story i won't tell you much more detail so i just had some pineapple to fill me up until dinner i think it's burgers <laughs> Um, come on. Uh, Hello everyone, it is my last full day in Cambridge and I'm really really upset, I just want to stay here forever, I'm having such a nice time, I feel like I've just been on holiday all the time. Do I have to go home? Do I have to? I am going to cycle over to my friend's house at this point, don't know what I'm going to do today but first thing on the agenda is to go get food because I haven't got breakfast, I ran out of Frosties yesterday and I I just quite fancy a Nutella and strawberries crepe from the crepe van in town, so that's where I'm going to head. And I'm sure friends will be around today to do stuff. I'm kind of keen to go use the Voy scooters around town because we still haven't done that. I've realised I was meaning to cycle to the Institute of Astronomy. I haven't done it and I just kind of want to do it for old times sake. It was where I used to study and, you know, there were some good times there. And yeah, it's just the final day in Cambridge, going home tomorrow but i can always come back and visit again soon so you know it's not goodbye forever it's just goodbye for now um i'm gonna go cycle off and see my friends for the day sun's out for the last day look at that blue sky the winners the winners i scored some goals i scored three goals yeah they were gold These are terrifying. Wait, then we have to go past the camera. Keep the formation! Let's follow them. Institute of Astronomy! Let's go! Look at this, used to come here every day, Institute of Astronomy, into the Hoyle building, had my lectures in there. That's where I used to park my bike. Oh, the Mems. Take me back, it was a good time here. Please get a game of clips. I have only recently got in 
it's now 1.40 almost in the morning. I didn't want to leave too early because it was my last evening with my friends and I'm quite sad about it because I've had such a lovely time and I don't want to go home. It's not all sad because in a few weeks time I am going to be seeing my university of friends again because we're all going on holiday together to Cornwall and I'm actually going on holiday with my family in less than a week's time. So I'm literally getting my stuff home, getting a bit on top of life admin, get all my laundry done, quick turnaround before going on holiday with my family to the Cotswolds next week. I do need to get to bed quickly though because I am driving tomorrow on a motorway driving myself home. My parents are driving to Cambridge tomorrow. I've convinced them to drive because I am too scared to drive on the motorway by myself. So my parents are driving up in the morning. Then my dad is gonna sit with me in my car while I take the motorway back. And then my mum will drive back in the car that they drew up in. It sounds a little bit over the top, but I'm really not confident yet to go on a motorway by myself. I will be soon, but I'm just not ready quite yet and I just feel so much better if someone is in the car with me. I haven't packed at all. Really my parents should be used to this because this is the state they always found things in when they came to pick me up from university. I don't think it's going to take that long to just shove stuff in my case. I don't have tons of stuff. Give us a wave. You've come and helped me haven't you? I have. Yes. <clears throat> packed up. Goodbye Airbnb. Been a good trip. Hello, so we are outside King's Chapel with the dog, Buster. <gasps> He's having a good time. We've just taken some photos with him, which I will flash up on screen now. I have just been to Ryder and Amy's to buy a Jesus College sweatshirt. They're nice quality in there and I haven't had one from there before. Still clinging to my university days, still want that student clothing. I haven't got a Jesus College mug, you know, just for the memories, the keepsakes. Do you want to go to the fudge kitchen, anyone? Should we get some fudge? But yeah, here we have it. Cambridge sites. And that is it for the Cambridge vlog series. It's now a month later and I'm just editing all of the final pieces of footage together from Cambridge and I just had a wonderful time. Since it was filmed I've had a load of other life updates that I need to share with you guys at some point but those will be coming soon. I was just so glad I went to Cambridge this summer. It was such a good decision. I definitely felt more myself again, way more happy, getting a bit of social time. I highly recommend work away from from home trips they are really fun if you're considering one i say go for it thanks for watching please do give the video a like if you enjoyed it subscribe to my channel to see more from me and what i get up to next follow my instagram as well it's at underscore page underscore y i'll leave a link in the description and i'll see you guys soon with another video bye bye